Hey Katie, how's your day going so far? It's been busy, but good. How's yours going? Really good, I've seen a lot of clients. Hey, I just got a text. About what? The Nail Pro Sacramento show. It's gonna be on Sunday, September 22nd. Cool, where's that located? At the Sacramento Convention Center. I am so there. I'm going too, we should definitely hang out at the show. That'd be cool. Hey, in the meantime, do you know where I can get more info about it? Yeah, check out nailprosacramento.com or call 888-491-8265. Great, I'll definitely do that. Oh, wait, I've got to go catch a client, but thanks so much for letting me know about that. I'll talk to you later. Okay, have a good rest of the day. and welcome to Behind the Nail Pros for the June issue. We're here with Ashley Craig, who came out here from Florida to do the nails for us. We're so happy to have you. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Ashley works at the famous Profile Salon, where they held a competition to find the best nail artist, and she won. So part of the prize was to come out here and do a cover for Nail Pro. So this is really exciting for you. Um, about the most exciting thing I've been through so far in my career. That's awesome, and we're so glad to be a part of it. So tell us a little bit about the competition. You know, what were the best parts? The best parts were different challenges every week that we were given our assignments and working with my peers and seeing what they were doing and always wanting to do a little bit better and just learning off of each other and going back and forth with different ideas. It was nice sharing that. The nails that we had you do for the cover were inspired by a set that you did for the competition. Uh, one of the themes was nails that were inspired by images found on Pinterest. Where did you find these? I could not even actually tell you the exact origin of where I found it. It was hours and hours of scrolling through different nail pictures and kind of taking bits and pieces from one nail picture to the next, different colors, and just basically inspiring a whole new set. Which is a great thing, which is why Nail Pro has a Pinterest page as well, so you can go, <laughs> shameless plug, so you can go and get inspired by nail art on our site. Anyway, so tell us a little bit about how you created these nails. Um, they were an awesome almond shape. You started by sculpting them. Yes, yeah, sculpted them using nail forms, um, basically using just a regular natural nail acrylic base, making the almond shape, and then making a base of colored acrylic from each different nail, starting with the pinky, a nude base, to the ring finger with a matte black acrylic base to a nude again and a custom glitter mix for the pointer finger and all lilac purple flat base basically capping over all of those um I'm going to stop you for a second because I want to go back and talk about the middle finger where you did the leopard print you did a combination of acrylic and uh freehand painting afterwards how did you start with the acrylic basically started with a nude base taking the purple lilac acrylic color that was also used on the thumb making random dots on top of the nude base after that was finished capped it in clear acrylic and when I was done finished filing went back with a black paint striper and basically hand painted the detail the leopard but you have to be careful not to file too much off otherwise you file off the dots yes when the purple spots were done they were done so thin and so wet that it just kind of lays flat it doesn't stand up too high on the nail so when they're capped you're not filed into after you applied the color acrylic then you capped them all in clear and filed them use a hand file or an electric file I use an electric file and I start off by hand filing just a shape to get a nice contour so when I go back with the electric file I already have of the basis of what I'm going to be finished with. So next you went in and hand painted. Did you do that before you added a clear top coat or after? I did it after I added a clear top coat just to make sure that all my lines were precise and I wasn't filing into any detail to have to go back and retouch up. Normally in the salon, I would go ahead and paint underneath my clear acrylic. So when I'm done and filed the nail, when I go to gel top coat, it saves me extra time with my client. That way I'm finished consistently all day long. What nails did you hand paint and what did you do to them? The nails that were hand painted were the middle finger and the thumb. Middle finger was the leopard print and the thumb was a framed nail accentuated by rhinestones. Basically done afterwards, 
just to make sure that every single line is equal because that one over the leopard I would say would be the most difficult to keep consistent and the easiest to see a screw up. And then the last step was to apply the rhinestones. How difficult is that? Rhinestones are normally not as challenging, but for these set of nails on the ring finger, the matte black, if you drip any of the glue that was used to hold the rhinestones down, you automatically see it and there's no way of cleaning it up. So it automatically ruins all the matte finish that you have created. On the thumb, it's not so bad unless it dries very quickly and then you're picking them off and having to reapply. This is a style of nails that you do a lot in the salon. Any tips for creating something like this? And, and how long did it take you to learn to do it quickly? Basically, as far as how long it takes me, I've been with my salon for almost six years now. In my salon, we are booked every hour on the hour, six days a week from open to close. If you run behind, your whole day is screwed up. So you kind of have to self-train your own skills to break down how long everything is going to take and just know where you're going to land. Basically, it starts with your client and asking what they want, what they're looking for, and trying to figure out your time issue to get it done. You've also been fairly successful recently in the competition arena. Has working in a salon on such a strict regimented time schedule helped you with the competitions? It's helped me in the competitions because different categories and competitions have different time restraints and time limits. Just like in our salon, I could be with the client for an hour unless they have request couture nails, which could be two hours. It just all reflects back and forth and really helps out with the people I work for who've been doing this for years, kind of help us along training us for what we're about to be prepared for. Yeah, and it's all about time management, right? I mean, knowing what you're about to get into and the amount of time you have to do it and then figuring out how best to complete that. I think that is one of the most disappointing things you can go through during a competition is not necessarily doing horrible nails and you as a your nail tech yourself worrying about your nails and how are they good or not it's not even the, that fact it's the fact that if you don't finish that is the worst feeling you could ever have because no matter what the nails are you just didn't finish them so you didn't even get a chance to be judged not seen nothing well thank you so much Ashley for being here and for doing so great and winning your salon's competition so you could come out here and do the nails for our cover because they are just fabulous and on Honestly, I really wish you had done them on my nails today. They were really beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you.